Hey everybody, it's me Lakeisha Marie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just coming in to chit chat with you guys to say hello and to also to give you the latest update on our new house. So if you've been follow, following us for a couple of months now, you know that my husband and I sold our town home and we bought a new home in which we built from the ground up. Now before I go into any details about the new um, home buying experience, let me just go ahead and take a moment just to say hello to all my new subscribers and welcome to the family. So initially, I was going to film a video showing you guys an empty house tour, right? But as soon as I got started with um, shooting the video, my camera went dead and I um, ran out of space on my on my SD card. And I didn't have extra batteries or, ex or extra SD card with me at the time, so I wasn't able to shoot the empty home tour. But... I guess I can show you what I shot initially. Hey guys, it's your girl Lakeisha Marie and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am so excited right now to be talking to you guys because I am talking to you from my new home. I'm super freaking excited. Uh, at this point, we have not closed yet. We're just here looking at all the work that they've done uh, up to this point. They've done a whole lot already. So um, at this point, we have two more weeks before we actually close. So we're here taking measurements and going through the house to see, you know, little imperfections and stuff like that that we want them to um, fix before closing. And um, yeah, because next Friday we have our actual walkthrough. So we just kind of walking through the house now on our own, taking our time to uh, blue flag everything because we have our blue tape. And um, <laughs> I am just amazed. Like, I am so freaking excited. I love my house. I love our house so it's just amazing um I don't know where I want to start start with you guys so I don't know so let's take a look at what the house looks like let's start from when you first come in the door want to hear the doorbell want to hear the doorbell I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the house. Bam! Yeah, baby. This is our entryway. Ceiling with the recess lighting. Yes, 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 yes. This right here is to our two bedrooms and our second bath. Let's go check it out. This is my personal room. Um, I wouldn't call it necessarily a beauty room. Um, like most of my fellow sisters here on YouTube calls their room. Excuse me for a second. Just a little clean that a little bit. I probably shouldn't be doing that, but yeah. So I don't know. Figure out what I want to call it. Office. Yeah, but it's going to be more than office. It's just like my girl cave, if you will. This is where I'm going to go and just do whatever it is I want to do. Shoot my videos, you know, and whatever it is. Whatever else I want to do. So I got to come up with a name to call my room. So I'm super excited. In this room, this room is going to be espresso white and gold. Some colors for the room. And as you can see, blue tape, as you can see. To let me know that they need to change out that stop because it doesn't work. And as you can see, the the knob actually hits the wall and it's not supposed to. So yeah, so we're going around and doing the blue tape along everywhere to make sure. Yeah. I just guess bathroom. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. I can see the lights. 
And in this bathroom, I got the beveled, see that? The beveled mirror, beveled edge mirrors for this bathroom. So as you can see, the camera cut off right in the middle, right at the beginning, right? So it was about to get good. So yeah, I never quite went back to finish recording a video even on a different day because as I always say, life happens and things started to come at things started to come up and I just did not get a chance to shoot the video of the uh of the of the house before we actually moved in. So then I was going to shoot a video with the house, you know, kind of put together. But once I moved in, I kind of got a brain fart because before I moved in, I knew exactly how I wanted to decorate the home, right? But once I got in here, it was like, yeah, yeah, I don't quite know if I want to continue with that vision. So at some point, I will do a home tour. I just want... Um, the house to get mm, a little bit more decorated if you will because I, I pretty much I, I just stopped I, I just stopped buying stuff because I didn't want to buy things and it not really be what I want and I didn't want to be buying things just to be buying things because this is our home and we plan to be here for a long time and it's there's no rush with the decor and things like that so at some point, don't worry, I will give you guys a home tour. But of course, as I shoot throughout the home, you will be seeing, you know, different rooms of the home. But it just wouldn't be a whole house tour all at one time. So, um, once we moved in, I, you know, got as much done as, as, I, as I was able to. And I did focus on my personal room. As you know, in the previous videos, if you saw... You know, if you watch any of the other updates, you know that my husband has his man cave and I have my own personal room. And I'm calling it a personal room because I don't quite know what to call it just yet. Because it's not necessarily my beauty room and it's not necessarily an office, per se. It's kind of both all together intertwined. It's just my room with my personality splatter all over it and this is also gonna be the room where I just come and just chit chat with you guys as well so I don't quite know what to call it if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comment section below but uh, at some point once I get my room because my room I would say is about 80% done and this is probably be the first room that's going to be completely done that and once this room is completely done I will definitely show you guys um, a tour of my room and that's why I'm shooting right now I'm in my room so I'm super super excited about that as well so yeah the home buying experience overall it was a great experience my husband and I could not um, ask for a better home buying experience we went with Perry Homes and Perry Homes is awesome they did an awesome job with um, keeping us informed throughout the whole process they did an awesome job with building a home they did an awesome job with the time frame of getting the home up I mean we have absolutely positively no complaints with Perry Homes and it was also my intention to film the day of closing but and I did have my camera with me. I had the batteries charged. I had enough room on my SD um on my SD card. But it was just so much drama that day that I just wasn't in the right frame of mind to film. I mean, it just seemed like everything was just just going left and it, it was it got to the point where my husband and I thought that we was not going to be able to close that day and we was scheduled to close on a Friday and it was looking like we wasn't going to close until Monday so that really you know um, put us in a bad headspace if you will so it, it just wasn't a good time to uh, bust out the camera but it, it was just crazy I had movers to come to meet us at the house after we closed meet us here at the new house um, to help us unload the pods and set the house up and so because we didn't know if we was going to close on time I called the movers to see if they could like push the time frame back and it was a whole debacle with the movers to the point where I ended up going with a whole new set of movers and paying more money out of my pocket for movers but it all worked out uh, and then also 
So not only that, but then the bank took all day to uh, wire over the money for our down payment. So it was it was just a lot going on. So between the bank sending the transferring the money, wiring the money over later than what they said, and then the movers um, not working with us and wanted to meet us at the house at the time because they wanted to meet us at the house earlier than our agreed upon time and i'm like okay but i'm not even at the house yet so her why are you even going out to the home and we're not even there yet like we haven't closed on the home i don't have keys or anything but anyway um there's no need to go into all of that but like i said it all worked out and we did find some movers um we paid a little bit more money out of pocket but that's okay we did find some movers that came helped us unpack the pod and set up our home and it was yeah it, it, it all worked out so that was the reason why i did not film the day that we were uh the day that we actually closed because it was just it was just a lot going on. It was raining that day. My husband and I was in a bad, just in a bad headspace because of all the outside um, things that was going on that was outside of our control. And it, it, it was just a lot. And at that point, I just truly thought that we were under attack. Because when you try to do something um, right and you're walking by faith, that's when the devil attacks you. But I'm not here to, to start preaching. But uh, but yeah, but everything worked out. We did move her, we did close on that day. We closed about two hours later than we expected, but we did close on that Friday and we did get everything moved in um, the house that Friday as far as getting it out the pod and into the home and set up. So so that's all great. So that was so that was awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We have not had a housewarming party um, yet. Not sure if you're gonna have an official housewarming party to be honest with you because when we got you know when we were married when we got married we got pretty much really everything that we really need. Um we got so much stuff at the wedding that I literally threw away all my old dishes, all my old cups and glasses, and all my old pots and pans. Yeah. I mean baking dishes, everything, I just got rid of it because we got everything, you know, at between my two brightest hours and my best red party. We pretty much got everything that we really needed and also wedding gifts as well. So, I mean, yeah, there's no need for me to really have a housewarming gift. I mean, a housewarming party. Maybe I have a do like a home blessing or something like that. Because um, one of my friends did suggest that maybe I'll do that. And who knows if I choose to do that. You know, maybe I videotape it. I don't know. Everybody doesn't like to be on camera. We'll see. So, so yeah. So, how you guys doing? Tell me about what's going on with you guys. You know, leave something in the comment section below. I would love to chit chat with you guys and see how everything is going in your world. By the time you see this video, um, let me see. What would have just passed? Mother's Day would have just passed. So, all the mothers out there, happy belated Mother's Day. Um... We would have just had Memorial Day, so hope you guys had an awesome Memorial Day weekend. And um, yeah, RJ, come here, come here, RJ. Let me let me let you guys see RJ. RJ, say hi, RJ. If you guys have been around um, for a long, long time in the beginning, you guys have seen RJ before. He's popped up in the videos uh in my videos before you may have seen them in like in the background and stuff like that so um so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and and close out i hope you guys are doing excellent in your lives and hopefully those um goals that you set at the beginning of the year hopefully you're still working towards them and if you're not that's okay start back on them tomorrow it's all good and uh yeah, I see you guys in the next in the next video. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.